Hey, buddy. One of the uh, places that I worked in Osaka was a school, and it was sponsored by Yomiuri. It's a very big newspaper company, one of the biggest companies in Japan. And I worked for a division where they had a TV studio and did a lot of different work um, there in the same building as my school. So some of my students were TV producers. And one of them invited me to come and work on a t uh, regular basis every week with a TV show. It was a, a daytime variety show called Waido Show Ima. And I would be working with one of Japan's top comedians. His name is Katsura Bunshin. And I'll be putting some pictures up of me and, and Bunshin. And we were, um, we would just trade jokes for about five minutes or 10 minutes. And it was very, uh, most of it was ad lib. We would talk um, uh, for a few minutes before the broadcast, before the taping, um, about what we were going to talk about. But mostly it was just jokes that we were trading back and forth in Japanese, of course. And this was a, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed being on there. Bunchin was a great guy, very smart. And one of the best uh, benefits for me was that this meant that people all over Japan were seeing me on this TV show. And a number of uh, people who I had lost contact with around Japan um, contacted me through the TV show. So we got to talk to each other again. So that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I even did one late night show. It's called 11 p.m. Um, it didn't work so well because the director and I weren't communicating very well. But um, I'll always have fond memories of Bunchin and Waido Show Ima and my time as a, t uh, a TV uh, celebrity in Japan. So um, there's no telling where you'll end up someday, buddy. And, but I hope you'll uh, be having a lot of fun wherever you're doing it. Thanks a lot. And uh, look forward to the next story now. I got a bunch. About 50, I think. <laughs> so take care and we'll talk soon.